All right. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for making it to the very end of the sessions, I think, at POS4G. We had some, you know, pens and, uh, <laughs> and stickers for those of you. So my name is Petya Kangalova, and I work for the Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. I will be presenting today together with Icha from the Kathmandu Living Labs team. Uh, very excited to be here. I would say it's the first time for both of us at, for, at POS4G, so we've learned a lot, but we're still learning in this process. And today we'll talk to you about the Open Tech Collective. So I'll explain and we'll share our journey. I'll introduce a bit and then uh, Icha will talk in more detail of what we have been working on. So for those of you in the room who might not have heard, hopefully you've met some colleagues from the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. We are an international team dedicated to humanitarian action, community development through open mapping, so using OpenStreetMap. It started in uh, 2010 in the response to the earthquake in Haiti, and now we've really grown as a team. We have nearly 90 people working in four, four regions that we're focusing on, Asia Pacific, East Africa, West Africa, uh, and uh, Latin America. Why? Uh, we're all here because we're all interested in the technology, so we talk about the journey, but one of the important areas that at the start of the year within the humanitarian OpenStreetMap team and the tech we focus on is really trying to build with, uh, with our community. So not developing technologies and then uh, giving them to users to uh, use them. So one of the, I would say, key kind of core values and principles were around participation, contribution, and collaboration. So that's why you have all those hands of different people coming together, working around the technology in a collective way. So you have people with different skills and background, and I'll give you a few examples uh, around that. So today, starting this collective journey and having different contributors, the first kind of product, and in a way, it's maybe the one that most people uh, hearing about Humanitarian OpenStreetMap team know about, is the Hot Tasking Manager, uh, which really is the key focus is to uh, map the most vulnerable places to disaster uh, and poverty in order to support uh, humanitarian aid. So if you haven't used the product, please make sure you, you know, scan the code and start using it. It was really nice, actually, in some sessions, uh, we've heard it mentioned that people are using it. So if you, um, hopefully, you are already one of the users. This is how it looks if you're not familiar, or maybe you go on a daily basis and you're one of the many contributors. Uh, and what I wanted to say here is since the start of the Hot Tasking Manager, there are a lot of mappers using the tool, uh, a number of, bu of buildings being mapped, uh, and, um, and roads as well. So you can be you're probably one of those contributors. A lot of people ask, so we talk about the journey and our approach to building the technology, and a lot of people ask, what is the collective? And that's the, the key question that I get, and that's what I'll try and explain. And you can see quite a few words on this slide. I would say the main thing that we've started this year is really bringing people uh, who have shared interests. And what I mean by this is you can be a developer working in open source who are interested in the tasking manager and you want to join the collective. You might be a mapper or a validator who is using the product and uh, you want to share your feedback in any improvements or you're interested in testing any of the changes. Uh, and all those people, as the start of the year, each of we talk about some examples, do come together, uh, whether that's virtual or physical space with some of the meetups or other areas. Uh, and the bit about shared ground, I think, is quite important because people have different background and experience when they come together and contributing to uh, the code tasking manager. And the goal really is improving it in a collective way, but with the people who are really focusing and using on the technology. So in January, we uh, welcomed the Kathmandu Living Labs team, working with Icha and her team in uh, working on the maintenance of the tasking manager. Uh, and I'll hand over to her uh, so she can talk about some of the successes, some of the challenges. But it has been a great experience. And I would just say personally, we've really, really enjoyed the co collaboration. And it's really meaningful and important, I would say, to work with local partners in the countries that we're focusing on. Over to you. Um, thank you, Petya, and uh, yeah, nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, so I'm Itya Moktan. I'm a tech and innovation lead at Kathmandu Living Labs, uh, which is also widely known as KLA, and also project coordinator for my team in this tech collective journey. 
So I just wanted to share this picture because it was a recent one from the Open Street Maps 18th birthday celebration. Um, uh, so yeah, I'd like to quickly talk about uh, KLL. Um, so it's a civic tech company in Nepal which was founded in 2013 with a main motive of advancing the open mapping initiatives. And uh, throughout the years of experience, uh, it has been able to train and engage thousands of youths from Nepal and other Asian countries uh, to train and engage uh, uh, people to map their local communities in OpenStreetMap. And in these years of uh, experience, I think taxing manager has always played a huge role in our work. And uh, that's, how, that's why when we, when we got to know about the Tech Collective vision, we were really excited. And um, that's how we are here, I guess. And we are super grateful to the humanitarian open issue map team for providing us this opportunity. And yeah, as Peter mentioned, uh, our actual journey started on February. So it was mostly about being onboarding and understanding the existing ecosystem, um, knowing about the tech stacks, and also going through the huge number of issues that were reported in the GitHub repository, because we are doing the tech maintenance, right? And uh, then on the mart, oh, uh, I'd like to talk about the highlights of the journey that has been. So on March, the major highlight was uh, doing the successful integration of the embedded rapid, ed rapid editor. I think uh, we had sessions yesterday about rapid. Uh, there are two people here from rapid as well. And yeah. If you haven't checked it out, please do check it out. It's already live in the Taxing Manager. And if you don't know about Rapid, it's an enhanced version of ID Editor that uses AI to make prediction of roads and buildings, uh, reducing the effort of humans uh, to draw them. And uh, yeah, that is how Rapid looks like. So all, if you see, there are two uh, predictions that has been made. Um, so yeah, you can check it out. And uh, let's move on to April. Uh, so as Peter also mentioned about uh, that the collective is not just building for the community, but then with and by the community. So that's why we launched the monthly collective meetups, and it's going pretty well. And uh, there comes May, which was quite a turning point, uh, because it's, uh, the May was the month where we did our second release. And then uh, there were features um, being released. And one of the features was widely appreciated by our community, which I will be talking a bit in more detail uh, later uh, in the slides. And then talking about June, uh, I think we resumed the implementation of test cases because writing the test cases is one of the important aspects of the software projects. And in July, we started uh, writing monthly updates blog so that people from our community can know what are the updates that's happening in a particular month. And it's August here. Uh, I can assure you there are interesting updates coming soon, so please stay tuned. So yeah, um, when we reflect back uh, in this journey so far, because it's been seven months now, and uh, the three successes I would like to share is that uh, we are glad that we have been able to bring the feature enhancements that has impacted our users. Um, also with the collective meetups, it's going pretty well and has been an opportunity for us to talk without users, uh, hear about their needs, what are the issues they have been facing with the taxing manager and uh, discuss. And uh, third one is uh, the one which we are super grateful to our community because we have, gave, we have been getting the huge support. And when I talk about the features, I think there are many we have worked on, but I would like to highlight two of the features that, we, um, that was hugely appreciated by user. And this is the first one. So if you see here, uh, we just added a simple radio button that allowed the users to validate all tags at once. Even it was simple, I think the impact it had uh, was very great that uh, it became very useful to the users. And then there was another feature. So if you are a user of Taxing Manager, you might know that uh, Taxing Manager only allows to lock a single tax at once. Uh, so what happens is that if you try to go to the new project and lock another tax, you need to go back to the previous project and unlock the tax. So it was kind of a hassle between switching between the projects and selecting the tax. So this particular feature were, um, helps in that aspect. And uh, yeah. 
And you can see the glimpse of our monthly collective meetups. Uh, the next one is happening in September. I want, I definitely uh, would love to see you there as well. And yeah, again, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm bragging a lot, but this really means a lot to us because um, that's why we are there. And uh, yeah. So uh, in all the success stories, I think there will, there will definitely be challenges. And for us, um, I think understanding the depth of the issue was one of the major challenges because we were um, new in aspect of understanding what our users think. Because as Petya mentioned, we have almost 403k mappers registered in Taxing Manager, mapping um, remotely uh, throughout the world. And there are different people, different issues happen with them. And it was kind of hard initially to understand. It is still is, I guess, in some of, in few of the issues. And then that kind of impacted on prioritizing. So, I mean, you need to release every month, uh, new re you need to do the new release every month, and you need to kind of prioritize what are the actual issues we want to work on. And that's also one of the challenges. And another one was, um, definitely delivering the user expectations because as I mentioned earlier, there are people around the world, they have their own kind of issues and it's, it's hard if we can uh, deliver their expectations or not in every release. But um, apart from all of that, I think this is a very exciting period for the growth of Taxing Manager and uh, we definitely plan to have amazing features in the coming days and I'll just like to quickly share on few features that we aim to work on. So the first one is uh, adding the symbolic rewards so that we can recognize our volunteers' effort and motivate them to be in our system. Uh, the another one is uh, improved emails and notification messages so that our users get engaged and informed about the projects they have contributed. And the third one, which I really want to focus on, is this explore project functionality because this is our home page. And if you are uh, if you are if you are uh, new to the system, it it can be a case that you might be you might feel hard to find the relevant project. Uh, so that's where um, we really want to focus on is making sure our user get the relevant project and start mapping immediately. And definitely many more with all of your collective inputs, because that's what the collective is all about. So uh, we have been mentioning a lot that we have already 403k mappers registered, and we want to use this platform to invite you to join this global community uh, to support the humanitarian aid and sustainable development across the world. So let's start mapping, and uh, I'd like to uh, ask Petya to we're keeping to time. So the last one, which we'll just keep on the slide, is just ways for you to keep in touch with us. As we said, it's a journey and we're adapting to how we can bring people into the collective. So developers who want to just look on GitHub, that's the page, you can go directly. We did actually a bit of work around like the labeling and what you know you can see like beginners issues so people can contribute directly on GitHub. As I just said, we have the monthly meetups. You can scan the code, register, and hopefully you can join us on a monthly basis. We're also thinking of the ideas of people organizing more local meetups when they can talk about the tasking manager. And I think KLL organized one in Nepal, something that in the long term we can think about. Slack channels, I think we definitely want to uh, be writing more about uh, what what is being worked on, so different blogs using the kind of more recent fall, a forum, OpenStreetMap Discourse, or uh, just on Hot Tech, Twitter, or now you've met us, so you can chat to us directly or um, send us an email. I think that's it from us, right on time. We wanted to give more time.